Okay, Mike here at Sky Include, trying to keep you included in the web, the new web, the D web, the internet, the way it was meant to be. All right. Um, honestly, I am learning this a little bit as I make this video. I've been playing with it Sunday morning here, March 28th, 2021. Steve Mackey is always uh, keeping us up to date on Twitter. So I saw his tweet. And it seems like it's really new. It's like not even announced yet. So trying to try and help you all keep up to date with what's happening. And then Alex also. Um, so basically there's some cool tech from Fleek coming out. And then Alex already set up print room with Fleek. And uh, it took him less than five minutes. So like let's check out his site, print room. Again, if you have HDNS io set up by name base so you can just put it in without the any dot hns dot two or anything else but basically he made uh made this simple tool which is pretty cool i'm curious how he made that good job alex on print room okay so let's play around with this all right i am dive in now so fleek.co f-l-e-e-k.co and then start for free um uh, I already signed up, but let's just take a look. Or uh, you can check the pricing plans if that's usually what I do too. Um, but there's free tier that seems pretty generous for individuals like us. So definitely try this out. Just and hope your internet's better than mine here in China. Mm, da -da -da, go to pricing, but there's basically a free tier. So then there's no there's no excuses for you to not do this. Okay. You will see in a second the pricing tiers as of March, late March 2021, but there's a free one, so three gig storage. Basically what this is, is it's hosting an IPFS, um, which is the inter, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a mistake. Basically it's on the decentralized hosting, uh, which solutions here. Okay. Basically, and then it connects to your GitHub. So I'm going to sign in. I'm already signed in. And then once you're in, you're going to have to connect your GitHub. I know even for me, I'm still not, I get more technical as I do these uh, videos and internet. But basically, um, add a new site. And you'll need to connect to your GitHub account. All right. So if you want to just sign up for one for free, you could also just go to new. This also be at skyinclude.com slash fleek. You could use a, uh, a template there. Or you could import one. Maybe I'll send one for you here. I think I got it here saved. You should be able to use this link. And put that hopefully here. And then uh, Fleek, I don't know, three, public, begin. And then once, this will just have an index HTML. It'll be basically an empty, uh, empty, an empty one for you. So once that's made, there it will be. Let it be totally finished. It is ready, okay. So we're gonna connect to GitHub, which we already did. And then it's gonna pick a repo. Let's search Fleek 3, which you just saw me clone. IPFS for is uh, what we're using. And then it will basically yeah, pick your branch master. It's not, I just have a blank index HTML. Essentially, you can probably follow their docs, docs.fleek.co. Obviously, it's much better than mine here. I'm just trying to show you the cool part of connecting to a handshake domain name. Ooh. But I'm just giving you a little bit of how to get that started. It's going to take a little bit, I don't know, like 30 seconds or so to get this de deployed. So it's kind of, I think what it's doing is it's taking it from GitHub and it's putting it into the IPFS deploy uh, internet. IPFS, see that? And RCDN. All right, so it shouldn't take too long. And then basically, I mean, I don't think it's that that much different than a uh, 
I'll put some screenshots a normal domain, but basically you're going to see in your settings, you go to your domains and then there's going to be HNS, which means handshake. And I, I've been doing it with a few domains before recording just to make sure. Um, you would add your domain and it would actually see it's done. Yeah, it's done. Okay, great. So we're done. So, you know, the domain management, right? You can also just check this out. This is what it is. You can copy mine. It's just an indexed HTML file. See this? Go to Sky. All right. Adding a custom. That's a normal domain. This is ENS domain. This is Handshake domain, HNS. So we're going to do Handshake. <laughs> HNS.owners. Verify. It already has. Yes. I've been having a little bit. Better luck doing this in uh, Sin Papeles. Um, you'll see in a second. Check. So basically, a a a record h, the host name HNS, which is what I just set, and then IP. So I've been doing this here. Oops, maybe showing too much here. I have Simpa Pro, which we have at skyinclude.com/simpa-pro, and I will go to this one. You'll see I have TLD owners. This one I just did. This one I just set up now. HNS.owners. I'm going to set up a record. I'm going to paste it. Whoops. Once. Save. Success. Hopefully, HNS.owners. Again, doing this live is I put my Chinese on. Hopefully, I don't look dumb. It might just take a little bit of time, but um, HNS.owners, again, I'm using HDNS.io by a by name base. Of course, you do this live. I'll show you. So I did it about 20 minutes ago, tld.owners, hopefully it still works. Yeah, I think it's just a delay of time. Maybe it takes, you know, and then you get something called cache. So that's that's how to do it on Simpapellas. Of course, here in Namebase, you can do it the same way manually, a record in the Namebase DNS record section. Um, although I, I think maybe there's just some time to, to get it to, uh, to work as well because um, I'm getting a bad gateway here. Again, maybe I am too early to make this video but it's coming really fast. So the idea here is you can use um, any or you can use your own name server. Um, the other cool thing I noticed was you can use name base and it will redirect you right there. If you have, the, this was not name base, but uh, if, if your name was there, then it would uh, automatically connect. I think this, well, I don't know what's going to happen. Breaking stuff here don't have it there so yeah it's not there but uh, I did it with sky include and then it basically pre-populates so I didn't even have to go into any settings just clicked use name base which is pretty awesome so this stuff is happening really fast um, so now you can get an IPFS site with uh, github is your where you keep your uh, repo and that deploys IPFS with fleek and then you can point to a handshake name also seems like it has normal domains and it also has ENS domains but as you know we're mostly excited about handshake names. Thank you so much. I hope this helps. Good luck. Let me know what you build. My computer's crashing. Uh, and uh, But it works. It might be just recommend waiting a little bit. I got something to do. Thank you so much. Skyinclude.com slash fleek or setup.skyinclude on handshake slash fleek. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.